Good day, YouTube Jake is from Artwork of Scanhead and Gadget Talk. And today, guys, we're going to give you some tips on how to set up your digital art camera for filming or for video. That's right. And if you want to have a cinemat cinematic look uh, for your video, well, of course, you need um, proper settings for your camera to do that. Okay, so let's start. Yes, yeah, so this is 7D Canon, guys. Great camera, it has great features. Yes, and one of its uh, uh, best features is the auto touch focus and the uh, yeah auto focus the tracking ma mode. Very cool. Okay, let's go to let's go straight to the menu. Okay, here guys. Yes, we go straight to the picture style. Yeah, actually the. Uh, uh, picture style the auto of the uh, picture style of your Canon 70D is already cool. It's already nice. It's already perfect. It's balanced and I like it. Sometimes I use it, but if I'm going to edit my video to make it look cinematic or let me say I want to customize the color of my uh, scenes, then I set my um, I set my uh, picture style to neutral and then. Here are the settings that I did. Okay, wait. Okay, for my sharpness, yes, that's zero. For my contrast, I reduce one. For my saturation, I reduce one. And for my color tone, yes, it's balanced. Okay, what's the purpose of doing this? If you set your contrast like that one, then um, this, the details of those scenes covered by shadows can still be a scene okay meaning um you not experience those spots which are very you know dark okay it's because of the contrast well by uh, removing one notch on it that would still display some of the details of the shadows of your um, clips for the saturation if you reduce one then um, you could get a dull color yes uh, yeah, it's not that really uh, vibrant and that would give us space on um, changing the color of course the, the tone of our color if it's not uh, saturated okay so that's why I reduce one on it so that uh, I could customize it on my Vegas that's right I'm using Sony Vegas by the way so this this is the setting for neutral if you're trying to um, edit your video to make it look more cinematic then make sure that um, you have this picture style set on your Canon 70D. You can also have this one if you like. Um, yes, standard, but I. Okay, yes, the sharpness is um, closer to the balance, and um, I mean, I pre notch for my sharpness, then for my contrast, I do one, same, same explanation as the neutral. And then also to my saturation, so yeah, that's it. Okay, let's go back. Well, but if you don't want to change the default setting, then auto is already cool, it's already perfect, guys. Okay, now let's move on to this one. Most of the time, I use the uh, manual focus then the auto focus you only use the tracking if the subject is moving or you yourself is moving and that's the time to use the tracking it's better to use the manual um, focus so that um, you know it's fast and it's more accurate I mean it's not that really accurate the sound is you know it's silent compared to the uh, auto focus which is a bit noisy because of your lens yes so I rather use the uh, manual focus than the auto focus. Okay, so click this one, and I use the flex Z zone AF square. Okay, so let me go to here so that you can see, guys. Let me turn on the um, focus. Okay, this is the square. See that it's more flexible using the square because. Yeah, you can um, really uh, focus that to the target. Yeah, 
that's the advantage of using it. And the autofocus. And 70 touch screens, very nice. Okay. Next. Let's try the uh, tracking. Okay, the disadvantage of using the tracking is your lens keeps moving, okay, keeps adjusting the focus and that would create sound and that is very um, disappointing for the output guys because you could hear so many noisy, okay, sounds which are not important in your video okay so that's why I rather turn my focus off and use the manual and I focus my subject manually like that now very simple okay let's go back okay then let's move on to here movie record size okay when to use the 60 or the 24 or the 30 okay well it's up to you guys if you're gonna use the uh, IPB or the all I I rather use the IPB okay um, here it's very important to use if you want the cinematic the cinematic output of your video then use 24 okay if you want to have a cinematic cinematic effect but there are some forces you want to slow down or slow mo then I use a 30 if you want a video that you know really the movement of your of your subject is really smooth and so on and so forth then you use the 60 FPS well the problem of using the 60 FPS is size see that's 1280 compared to the uh, 24 or the 30 you have their standard 1920 okay that matters during the editing the bigger the size the more sharper quality the video than those with smaller size yes okay now most of the time I should video and um, I uh, prefer the uh, cinematic look so I use the 1020 30 FPS because some of the portions of my scenes I slow-mo yeah I do some slow motion so I use a 30 FPS but there is really difference if you slow mo the, the subject using the 60 fps. It's very, it's very smooth, and I like the smoothness of the 60 fps. Okay, that's right. So sound recording is manual. Why? So that you can see that change the record level of your sound, reduce, increase, and so on and so forth. Okay, you can also here enable, disable. This part is very interesting, guys. It will lessen the uh, noise of your sound. Okay, we're going to this. That's right. Okay, the rest is default. Okay, here and that change much and so on and so forth. So this is the only part that you, yeah, can change for the video. Okay. So this is Jake as well from the uh, Artworks of Scanhead you talk I hope guys you learned something yes it's rainy outside but this is a problem as long um, I've shared to you guys some of the things that you must prepare on your DSLR camera the 70 d okay if you are out there taking up great videos for your short film thank you very much for watching